What's going on guys? Jesse from Sled Addicts. I'm with uh, my buddy Costa over here. From uh, We are going riding. Uh, we're on the rail line, the B103. Uh, heading, we just passed Kinmount and we are heading up towards Halliburton. The set of, uh, the li it's a limited trail, so we'll head up to where the trail closed, is closed. And then we'll uh, turn around and come back to Lindsay where we started. Uh, we are going to, uh, me, Mike, and Costa are going to go to Cochrane on uh, this Friday. So we're super stoked for that. Conditions are actually supposed to be pretty good. Spoke to some people that are there right now and they're telling me that it's definitely worth the drive. So we're excited. Let's go. Trail is uh, definitely a little bit bumpy. Uh, coming out of Lindsay, it was a little, uh, it was a little icy. Machine was uh, probably got up to like 60 degrees Celsius, which uh, isn't super high, but it's definitely not your optimum running temp. Once we uh, got to Kinmount, uh, there was more snow, and as you can see, the trail is definitely snow covered. It's not low on snow. You could always use more, but. They, uh, it's pretty decent and there's also like you wouldn't believe the amount of trailers that were in Lindsay when we left like the entire parking lot was completely jammed with trailers so um, yeah it's a pretty busy day everyone's trying to get out but uh, it's definitely worth it if you get a chance head out as I said just north of Lindsay once you get north of Lindsay the trails get better and better and I imagine they'll continue to get better as we get further north towards Halliburton definitely still a limited trail it's definitely not green worthy not even close who knows what weather they're gonna get this week it looks like some freezing rain tonight and maybe even some warm weather above zero next week so if they do that the trails will probably close but if they get more snow and more cold you'll start seeing the trails light up all across the province because that's what we need is lots of cold a lot of people in southern Ontario have been going out there this year, especially because there's lots of new people in the sport. There's been lots of trespassing on closed trails. Uh, I was reading on Facebook yesterday, one of the, um, I believe it's the Barry Snowmobile Club. They lost a section of their E109 because people were riding it when it was closed. So guys, please, I beg you, stay off the trails until they're open. You don't know if it's, pro if it's crown land, go ahead. but make sure you know exactly where the crown land is and that you're not going on private property because that screws us when it comes to trails and then we'll just be riding roads and no one likes riding roads so yeah just please don't trespass um in terms of uh yeah in terms of southern ontario we, they have snow as you can see but um most areas don't have have zero have like basically no frost so they need more cold to freeze up the ground and ones especially the the swamps and and all of that the, the this trail which is a rail trail the, it has a base to it because it's ground it's not there's no swamp there's no water there's no creeks nothing so that's why this trail can open early all they really need is uh like six inches of snow and they are they're golden but all the other trails need to freeze more snow right now will only hinder them. They need the ground to freeze, and then once the ground's frozen, bring on the snow. But uh, until then, guys, just stay patient. Um, if there are trails that are open near you, go ahead, enjoy. Uh, if you want a trailer somewhere to go ride, no one's going to stop you. They suggest you don't, but uh, as I said, I'm going to Cochrane, so I'm definitely not the one to tell you not to. But uh, just be safe, be respectful of the locals, wear a mask, 
if you have to go inside anywhere wear a mask like for us what we what we're going to be doing is we'll be getting we'll probably either bring our food or order takeout and pick it up and then our, our really our only contact with the outside world will be if a gas station we can't pay at the pump and we have to uh go inside to pay at that point wear a mask and that's it our motel the door to the motel is from outside to our room so we don't have to go through a lobby or anything so we're trying our best to minimize our contact i know there are people up there right now that are uh posting on facebook and saying things like fuck covid and stuff like that don't do that guys that's stupid J listen to the covid rules they're not going to stop you from riding no one's going to stop you from go from chasing the snow just Please don't upset the local uh, residents of these northern communities and wherever you go ride and just try to minimize your contact as much as possible. Anyways, that was just a little bit for me, but let's ride. Another thing, uh, so yesterday I finally uh, finished braking on the on the XRS. Uh, I think it has now about 550k on it. Uh, haven't really done a test yet on uh, fuel economy and uh, oil economy, but I will. What I'm planning on doing is, so I don't know if you guys know this, but this uh, this new gauge over here, it will actually tell you your average uh, liters per 100k and then you can convert that to miles per gallon to get an understanding of uh, your fuel consumption. But who knows if it's accurate? So what I'm gonna do is the next time I fill gas, uh, I'm gonna fill it to full, I'm gonna track how many kilometers I ride, and then I'm gonna fill the tank again and see how many liters I need to fill. And that will be the most accurate way of telling how much gas I'm using, and then we can compare that to the gauge and see if the gauge is actually accurate or if it isn't. So stay tuned for that. Well, as you can see, it's snowing a little lightly now. That's what we like to hear. Uh, hopefully the freezing rain doesn't come. I'm crossing my fingers because we're heading up to Halliburton and if we turn around at Halliburton and it starts freezing rain, it's not gonna be the best ride back down. So hope it doesn't rain, but unfortunately we can't control the weather. We wish we could but we can't. really upsets me when I see closed trails and I see tracks through them it's a huge problem everyone's riding closed trails and it just makes it harder for the volunteers guys they need to set up a base so the more you rip through it the more you destroy the base and the longer it's gonna take them to open up the trail and that that's what it is at the end of the day I'm an OFSC volunteer I get it I understand the struggle and the frustration these volunteers are putting in hundreds and hundreds of hours grooming, brushing, uh, flooding creeks and getting trails ready to ride. And you guys riding through it before they're ready is kind of just like a slap in the face at the end of the day. That's what it is. So uh, enough of that. I'm going to stop bitching about it, but it's just been on my mind because I've been seeing it all over Facebook. Okay, so we uh, just filled up gas at the uh, XTR in Halliburton, and now we're turning around and heading back down to Lindsay. Definitely a good ride. It is snowing very nicely now. Hope it keeps up and doesn't change to freezing rain like they expected. And uh, we're gonna come up to the, uh, the, the um, what's it called? The plane that's uh, being held in the air. Uh, it's a famous spot in Halliburton. Everyone knows it. This 
plane right here. Pretty cool. It's a nice little attraction for the sledders. It's cool to see. And there are lots of sleds. Every possible area to park there are trailers so uh, we've probably seen I don't know 30 40 sleds on the trail so far not crazy but there are definitely way more out there that we just haven't seen I'm gonna, uh, we're heading back to Lindsay and then I'm going to, to the cottage to spend New Year's with the family. And then first thing Friday morning, uh, we'll be hopping in the car and heading to Cochrane. And uh, we'll do lots of recording there and get uh, more content out for you. So thanks for watching the channel. We appreciate all your support, support and uh, we will see you soon. If you like that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel where we release content on everything snowmobiles. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.